Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So before we do anything today, I just wanted to start by saying we have a little bit of a name change. Um, I decided to change the name of this YouTube channel from Eat With Gabby just to my name, Gabby Sizemore. Um, really just because I want to, I guess, grow myself as a brand and not like food and myself as a brand. So there'll probably be some other things on this channel unrelated to food because I want there to be. <laughs> and hopefully that's a good enough reason. So anyway, back to the original reason why we're doing this today. And if you hear any weird noises, it's because my dog is currently in the room and he's a big 80 pound, 90 pound, uh, 80 or 90 pound baby. <laughs> So anyway, today we are trying snacks from different countries and I'm super excited about this. I actually ordered like a box filled with them a few months ago and then I never did the video. So I've had these snacks for a few months now. There's a bunch of different snacks from like, I think this one's a Spanish dessert. This one is from Ireland. There's one from Japan, Scotland. There's one from the US that I've honestly never seen before, so we're trying that one also. So I guess I'll start with the one that's from the US because I mean, that one's probably gonna be the one that you can find here. So these are the ones from the US and they are Kool-Aid gummies. Let's take a look at those. Um, there, it says there's three flavors, chocolate punch, cherry, and grape. Um, so let's give these a try. So let's go with the tropical punch. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't, you probably can't see this because it's really hard to zoom, to focus, but they are little like Kool-Aid men. So honestly, they taste like fruit snacks. <laughs> I don't really know if I was expecting anything different, but they taste like fruit snacks. That's about it. I mean, they're good. That was just a tropical punch. I don't really think I need to try the other ones. They're a bit chewy too, but they're not bad. So let's try, I'm gonna try the one that I'm actually most curious about. They're yogurt jelly. It is a product of South Korea. So that's pretty cool. Let's open them up. Why are you heavy breathing? Ooh, ooh. I don't like how those smell at all. Mmm. They're actually pretty good. I don't know. I honestly, so I don't, I don't know. So like the ingredients are kind of weird because it says, I think they're just like literally yogurt jelly. It's sugar, corn starch syrup, gelatin, and yogurt. But the yogurt says it's high fructose corn syrup, skim mixed milk powder, yogurt flavor. So it's literally just like a yogurt flavored gummy. Which it tastes really good. But when you open this, there's like a very weird smell that I don't know if I can get past. I don't think I need that in my life. Sorry, South Korea. Not for me. Okay, next. Let's do something chocolate. Stop. It's like having a child. <laughs> so this is, I'm gonna say it's a Dido bar. And this is from Turkey. And does it say like what it is? It says it's a wafer cookie. Oh, let's try. I mean, I love wafer cookies. They're my favorite. Oh my gosh, it looks, it looks like a giant Kit Kat bar. I'm not even lying. Look at this. Oh my God. All right, well, I feel like Turkey is a one up on the US because they make giant Kit Kat bars <laughs> that aren't really Kit Kat bars, but they're damn freaking good. Oh my god. That is, that's tasty. I also, let me, I guess I'll do this one next because it's a caramel milk chocolate coated wafer biscuit. And this one's from Scotland. So that's this. Let's open that up and give it a go. It's too, like it's, I don't like that. Nope, not worth it. 
The other thing was like 300 times better. So now I'm gonna try these European biscuits, which are made in Poland. But I think you can get these from like multiple places out of the US. I mean, you might even be able to get them here, but I don't really know. <laughs> but these are raspberry, it's like, it's a cookie on the front, like a normal biscuit cookie. And then it has chocolate on the back where it looks like there's gonna be raspberry. Oh my God, it's, yeah, it's like soft, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're gonna see any of these when I'm so that's not my favorite. <laughs> Looks like I don't have a lot of favorites, except for the big Kit Kat bar. And those yogurt jellies are pretty good, but they are not like my, I don't know. Let's try something that I think I'm gonna like next. Stop. He's getting very antsy because he wants to pull the snack. It's kinda like me on a normal basis. Oh, I didn't show you these. So these are a product of Ch Japan, and they're Choco Baby. They come in a little container, and let's open them. Huh. They look like little, like they come in this little, little kind of thing. Let's try a few. That's interesting. They're like big sprinkles. They're like Tic Tacs for chocolate. <laughs> They're pretty good though, but I don't think I would order, like I don't think I would go and be like, I need these. The thing is America is, has their candy game, just like pretty good. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna try, we try in these. Okay, so it says cheese sand on the box. I'm not really sure what a cheese sand is, um, but I guess we'll find out. To me, it looks like a cracker with cheese in the middle. But I mean, I guess in product of Korea, I guess it's a cheese sand. Oh, they come in a little, little package. And then you open it right up. Yeah, those are like the, um, they taste like Ritz bits, but bigger. That's tasty. Probably I could get behind this. Yeah. These are good. Probably eat the rest of these. Let me just talk with my mouth open. Be disgusting. So these I was most excited to try when I opened the box. Um, they are roast turkey and secret stuffing chips. They're from Ireland. So, I mean, Ireland knows their potatoes. <laughs> Let's see if they, oh my God, that's weird. They s literally, they smell like turkey and gravy and like Thanksgiving. That is very weird. They don't really taste like this much. They kind of taste like a sour cream and onion chip with like, it's weird because the aftertaste is like a little bit stuffing-y and like gravy and turkey. Like it's a little weird, honestly, but they're not bad at all. Like I'd probably continue to eat these. And I mean, and when Thanksgiving comes around, this is it. Not that they celebrate Thanksgiving, <clears throat> but this is still it. Hmm, I like them. They're growing on me. Hmm. And I may have snuck one to Lance and he thought it was good too. This is the second to last one that I'll be trying. There's a few more in the box, but I didn't want to cut, make this video like as long as possible. So these are from Japan. They look like, little sorry there's people outside they come in this package it looks like a little lumberjack like it looks i think they're supposed to be tree stumps when we open them up 
with chocolate and um, what does it say? Like wheat crackers and chocolate. And it looks like a little lumberjack with an ax. Let's see. That's not really what it looks like on the package, but I'm excited still because there's chocolate. Those are good. One of the first time seconds I know. They're good. Yeah. I like those. <laughs> Let's have another. It's basically like a... What are those like pretty bland cookies? <laughs> That's a good way to describe it, right? From here. And then they put chocolate on it. Like they're... Like you can dump them in like coffee or something. Those are good. I like them. Okay, so these are the last ones that I was most excited about. They are Spanish. Let's say from where? No, it just says Spanish dessert. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. It's a Spanish dessert, but it's like in another language. So I'm not really sure. Not in Spanish. But whatever. It says Spanish dessert and it says churros. So I mean, churros are my absolute favorite and if you don't like churros, peace, see you later. You don't need to be here. Just kidding, oh my God. What I'm expecting these to taste like are like the, the um, Taco Bell cinnamon twists that are so good because like, I don't know, this is it. Yep. They kind of taste like a cinnamon toast crunch, honestly. But in like a, I don't know, like more churro way. Like they're not, they're really good. Like I'm sitting have a bag of these. I want these. Hmm. So. I'd say my favorite was these. Second favorite was honestly these roast turkey potato chips and stuffing potato chips. Then these little wheat crackers with the chocolate and the little lumberjack man. The cheese crackers, the <laughs> cheese sand, you know, those. Um, oh, how could I forget? The Dido bar, this giant Kit Kat, for other lack of better words. Um, and then honestly, the rest were meh, not so great. <laughs> um, not, I'm kidding. The rest were like good, but not for me. So I'd say I'd stick with the ones that I just showed you. Um, there's some others that they that I actually got in the box, so maybe I'll do another video like this. But that is that. I had a lot of fun trying these snacks, and if you loved the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There's going to be more videos posting soon. I'm thinking of doing something Starbucks related because who doesn't love coffee? There's definitely people that don't like it, but eh, whatever. Um, okay, so have a great day. Bye.